The National Review, a dying magazine that remains fatally chained to print publication and insider conservatism, has issued a scathing indictment of Donald Trump, dedicating a full issue to stopping his candidacy. The magazine's editorial questions Trump's conservative credentials and calls him a huckster and declares him to be philosophically unmoored. So why are people angry with the National Review and why are they still supporting Donald Trump? The American people are sick and tired of establishment Republican politics. Let's look at the issues. For over 40 years, establishment Republicans have railed against abortion. They have pledged to fight it tooth and nail. Voters have done their part in elected Republican legislatures. We've given the House, the Senate, and Presidency to establishment Republicans time and time again. And despite casting so many ballots on this fundamental moral issue, we have more abortion and other kinds of sexual immorality than ever before. Not less, but more. So National Review, forgive the voters when they decide to rebel against the failed establishment. Let's look at illegal immigration. Amnesty, amnesty, amnesty. Where are the deportations? There are now tens of millions of people whose first act in our country was to violate our laws, and yet we're talking about amnesty. Deportations are virtually unheard of. The buses should be lined up jamming the border, but instead they're nowhere to be seen. Yet establishment Republicans still have the audacity to expect our vote, to take our loyalty for granted. Please. Let's talk about spending. It's shameful when Democrats almost do a better job at cutting spending than Republicans. Republicans have not turned in a budget surplus in recent memory. Only Bill Clinton has done that. Republicans keep compromising on budgets and allowing pork from both sides of the aisle to get signed into law on Obama's desk. Instead of standing up, establishment Republicans lie down. But the voters are on to the game. They realize now that the right wing and the left wing belong to the same bird. We're tired of political dynasties. We want term limits. We want immigration enforcement. We want good jobs and the freedom to work and to earn a living without being punished financially for our success. We want government to stop micromanaging our businesses to death. We want morals. Let's stop killing babies. Stop catering to everyone who claims to be offended or oppressed. We want freedom back. The National Review is a mouthpiece of the establishment. By seditiously attacking conservative frontrunner Trump, they reveal that the Republican establishment is so incestuous they would rather see Hillary Clinton win than Donald Trump or Ted Cruz. It's time someone put the National Review in its place, at the bottom of a birdcage. Thank you for watching our exclusive California Network Daily Briefing. Please subscribe to our channel and tell us how much you like our news in the comments below.